Hey there, welcome to Tully River Quail. I wanted to uh, show you how to calibrate your uh, incubator controller. Um, over time, sometimes the sensors get uh, dirty, um, become less effective, and you'll note that the temperature inside your incubator by using various um, other methods shows lower than what the actual reading is. Um, this is a two-year-old install here and I had this up at 38.3 or 38.6 to have to get it to the 99.5 inside temperature. So what I needed to do to get back to the 37.5 temperature that I needed to, to show was to remove 0.9 centigrade from the the settings. So basically all you do is hit the setting button and the enter button at the same time for five seconds. You're going to go through some screens. The first screen is password, which is set to 000. Just scroll through that with the up and down button or keep hitting the enter button and it'll go through the different codes. Now if you look at the manual, it's going to tell you that T means temperature T20 when you get to that setting is the actual calibration so when you go to the T20 you subtract 9 by using the up and down arrows and that will give at least on my instance that gave me back down to my 37.5 now before I had done that I was running this and I had the the setting on 38.3 is where I needed it to be and that's because the reading was off. So before you do this, make sure that you set your, your setting back down to where you want it and then recalibrate the sensor so that it's reading properly. And you can see on my accessory one, I'm a little high right now because I just opened it up. That's why the humidity's down. I just opened it up to adjust something, but this will gain back up and then once I open the door it gets cold in there for a second and the heater comes on and that's why it's up a little bit high but this runs at 99.5 after I've adjusted it um, I can't really push the buttons and do the video at the same time but you'll see well, let me see if I can there's the password and if you do enter Enter. That's oh, that one. Now there's a skip. It goes from like, I think five, goes from T16 to T20, T20. And you can see I have it set at 0 0.09. And that's how I adjusted 0 0.9 degrees off of the, the reading. And by taking the nine degrees off, it was showing that 38.6 was actually 99, 37.5. I took nine off, now it's actually showing the proper temperature. And again, over time, these change, so. And you also know this is, I have my, uh, my circulation fan. Um, this just went back. After you don't touch anything for a couple minutes, it'll, it'll set. Now, once you put in the time, or the change, by going up and down, doing the minus nine or minus eight or whatever you need to do to adjust it to get it proper, then you push the enter button and that changes it and you'll note that this is now lower than it was should it have been at 38.6. Anyway, this isn't as accurate. This is just a circulation fan that's used um, it's a blower fan that's from a fireplace that I have positioned in the back of the unit that uh, circulates the air, but it's not, I didn't calibrate this one, but I do have some accurate calibration methods. I try to use three. Um, this guy here is pretty accurate, so that's what I'm going off on. I also have um, one right on the tray itself. The sensor for this guy is placed right above the eggs so that gives me a good temperature reading and then I also use this thermal imager 
that I store here and I actually take a reading of the egg itself and that shows me that everything's at 99.5 so this is very accurate the small one that I have inside that the temperature sensor is placed right over the egg is accurate this guy I'm not sure if it's even calibratable um, it's not important to me because I, I'm just using it for the fan speed um, but it's a pretty cool blower I'll show you it's back in the back there it's a tube blower and it blows a heat down and then it comes back up so it creates a cycle inside there all right folks stay free tolly recoil over and out